Welcome to Short View Trading. This is your morning market for Monday, 28th of June. What matters today and this week for traders? Well, markets have continued to squeeze higher over the course of the past week. They are up again. On Friday, you can see the S&P, for example, making new intraday and new closing highs. The Nasdaq closed a tad lower, but remains in a pretty firm uptrend and has been a key source of strength in markets over the past month or so, as bond yields have been trending a bit lower. With that though, there are growing signs of froth and complacency in the near term in markets. That's particularly marked by the sharp increase in SKU readings last week to its highest level on record. SKU measures the buying of deep out of the money put options on the equity market by traders. It's a smart money indicator and it typically accelerates higher just ahead of pullbacks in the stock market. Other signs of complacency include the move lower in the VIX, which has fallen to its lowest level post the pandemic, and US high yield credit spreads, which on Friday narrowed to their tightest level since 2007. So complacency is back. The key question is how long will it last? How long will complacency stick around for? How much higher can this equity market go before cracks begin to emerge? We answer all of that in our daily publication where we make a one to two week trading recommendation, long or short, on S&P 500 futures. It's available on the website to subscribers. We also offer a free trial for seven trading days. And one of the indicators we're watching closely and thinking about is the one on your screen now. It's our sell-off indicator designed to warn of waves of risk aversion in global markets. And it does that once it reaches a reading of plus 20, which you can see it's currently doing. So we're watching that indicator amongst a number of others very closely. How are we trading this market today? We'll have a look at our daily trading publication for detail on that. In terms of data and events, we've got the Fed's Williams speaking on a panel today. On Wednesday, it's ADP employment. On Thursday, vehicle sales and ISM manufacturing. Then on Friday, it's non-farm payrolls out of the US. And then in Europe this week, it's inflation. Tomorrow we get Germany. On Wednesday, it's Eurozone CPI. That was your morning market hit. Do follow us on YouTube, search under Shortview Trading. Join us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and or Facebook. Thanks for listening.